man. All that shit pop shit found going business. Rollo found going. Shout out to the motherfucking Progress Report. The Progress Report. We got Cramby in the building. You already know what it is. New yes, music sir. Monday. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am DJ Cutthroat. Big cut. You know what's going on. I represent. I love my plug. First of all, I'm like coalition just by default. You know what I'm saying? Big X. That's my big brother. Funky. That's my big brother. Smooth. Motherfucking rich. Like the whole building. We came out of some shit called Legion of Doom and half the room probably don't even know about, but you know what I'm saying? It's the, the building blocks of what Atlanta is today. I got my brother with me, Rollo, fam, boom, the hottest, art, the, I, you can't even say artist, man, the, the hottest, the, the, the hottest man in the streets right now, you know what I'm saying? My boy do so much, he give back to the community, but he dropping hot ass music, and I had to bring him to Coalition DJs, New Music Monday's platform, so he got to get his rocks off, you know what I'm saying? So, I ain't gonna talk to you to death, we bring my brother up here, and he gonna, he gonna do what he do. You know? Pop shit, pop shit! Hey, that little DJ Smooth, what's up, baby? I love you. I ain't seen some of these niggas in six years. I think y'all might have seen how that went. Yeah, how you doing, know, baby? But listen here, what's up, X? You still got that ball head. Don't play with him. I just want y'all to say, I don't know, like, this shit ain't no waste of time when y'all coming up here fucking with these folks. When I first paid feature, feature for my feature, y'all know what I mean, got that future for my feature. I came to them with the record and they broke that motherfucker. It's not just an all child. I know a lot of this shit feel like an open mic and y'all know I got no money. I ain't ever got to come to shit like this. But I just come to this shit because this is what helped me when I was got down down. And I appreciate that type of shit and I show my gratitude and I'm gonna go out and eat with the man. Yeah, Whatever they need to do, they need me to post some shit, they need me to help with some shit. Bobby. Whatever they need to do, you gotta do that. Bobby. Cause a lot of these niggas had to go through this same platform right. that ain't right here today. Smell and ain't gonna ever come back. Cause you know when they get a little money, a little little fame or whatnot, you know how that shit go. But don't be like that. Come back like Rollo. You smell me? Come back. Facts, real nigga shit. What the first song yeah? Okay, my first song right here. Big, big X, I need you to play this motherfucker and tell all the DJs to play it. It called First One Eight, DJ Franklin. This is shit. shit. This is shit I thought of when I was in the hole in prison, and I was able to come out and, and, and do this shit. First, first track up, First Forty Eight, featuring Key Glock. Let's do it. Shepard checking in, Coalition DJs, Coalition. New Music Mondays, The Progress Support. We got Rollo, fam, going in the building. Right. Yeah, yeah. So how was your um, performance tonight, New Music Mondays? How was your experience? I mean, it was just good energy. You know, ain't nothing like having history with a person. For sure. And I got history with these DJs, you yeah, know. Man. When I had to come in the game spending all my money, you know, they was there to aid and help and assist me with that. Respect, respect. Now we got this new project, Welcome Home, and uh -huh. Welcome Home. I'm glad that you are home. You know what I'm saying? So, talk about the feedback you've been getting from this album. Oh man, I just get a lot of feedback from the real people. You know, fuck the industry. You know, the streets have been supporting me so heavy to the point like it's crazy because at first the artists used to support me real, real heavy, mm. which was you know kind of beneficial in a way. But now the streaming. Is what's really helping us, you know what I'm saying? I'm being my numbers. That's all right. Everything that I was projected to do, I tripled. Okay. So, yeah, y'all go download it on all platforms. Welcome home. Just welcome right home. That, that's just your way of giving me some help. I appreciate you guys. Nah, for sure. Hey, that's what it's about. It's all about you showing compassion and love to your people, John. No matter if they help, if they ain't, stand on business about them. 
Buy your bitch a purse if you can afford. Buy, buy that she want it. Like, look out for your people. So don't think I'm just talking shit on these songs. I'm actually leaving our inheritance for my kids, kids, kids. So whenever you on that type of time, always make that the goal for the kids, kids, kids can have because a lot of us ain't have. So if you want to run a property, make it your duty to make sure you get your goal and get your mortgage next year, man. Fuck that lease this year. Do whatever it takes to get your motherfucking mortgage next year. Found right. going to be in there. Where we at with? Okay, I heard a motherfucker say they like R&B and shit. When I was a kid, I used to look at 106 and Park. Everybody kind of familiar with rap sitting in the basement. It was a nigga on that call, Anthony Hamilton. This what going to fuck you up. Mammy, and he, he's, you know, I was a young nigga. He was an old nigga. I'm still, he's still older than me. Of course, older than a lot of us. It's up to you. It's up to you. You know you're old, goddamn. But, <laughs> but however, this dude right here, great dude, Anthony Hamilton. I always wanted to work with him when I was in prison. I said there's two people I wanted to do a song with, and it was Anthony Hamilton was one, and Mary J. Blige is the other. And I hope that we, you know, get that done. But this is on me. I been it. I made this song while I was in jail on my cell phone, so it's gonna sound a little bit different from the other one. But fuck it, fuck it. Fuck it. What she said? Fuck it, fuck it. I'm me. Why I'm me? Fire, man. Talk about getting K Michelle to rap on there. Right. You know, I was in prison and I just inboxed her trying to see, you know, you know, niggas usually shoot their shot with women in their DM, but I shot my shot for a feature because, you know, it was a female that I was dealing with at the time that left me in there that was crazy about K Michelle. Mm. And I just put that record together. Nah. I wanted her to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Is it true you got a $5 million book deal on the way? Oh yeah, hey yeah, I dropped okay. in February. Okay. First volume. What's the book gonna be about? It's gonna be an autobiography about my life. A trilogy.
down. Okay, Long way to go. Baby, don't do what I tell her. We gon' survive it together. We ain't doing this for black and yellow. We gon' do this cause we black and yellow. I ain't giving up, I ain't going broke. Tell me through this shit until my thumb broke. Big money still in the condo. Every time I do it, I do a jumbo. Big speak, my nigga, when you talking to me. Sorry, I don't do no talking for free. Anything I do won't cost me a fee. Thank you, dog, you did all this for me. Young dog, rest in peace. No, I spend that shit every week. Do this shit till I D.I.E. I'm a rapper, sing that P.R. Get out of here. So, just lastly, reality TV experience. How's that for you? Reality TV is bad. You know, I thought all that shit was fake. Yeah. But you know, that shit be real. But it come with a storyline. The show. But it's so much bullshit come in that storyline. Like they be really beefing for real. I thought all that shit was a joke. And you know, I don't have a storyline. I'm, <laughs> I'm just not with drama. You know what I'm saying? I, got you. I, just, I just sip my tea. For sure. I didn't see that, brother. That shit crazy. He gave, he gave me one of them motherfuckers from back in the day. That's blues right now. This man, I bet this how I go download my album. It just came out like three days ago. Oh, 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 all platforms. Yeah, yeah, welcome home. It's my welcome home album. Help me get some more paper to, you know, put in the goddamn community. Cause that's all I'm gonna do. That's all I'm gonna do. And, and, and another motherfucker thing on. Um, what the fuck I had said on that song? Oh yeah, don't go to trial. <laughs> go to trial. Try to get y'all a plea and shit, you feel me? You feel me? Get out no crack away. Cause they sent a lot of us to prison for the rest of our life. I was just sitting out with them. Good niggas. Stay out no crack away right now. So you want to get out the take a plea? You feel me? Oh yeah. Now nah, it's a three song minimum. But I love y'all, they're my shit, they're my three songs. All new, just came out last Friday. Some of these people in here knew it, I fuck with them. That nigga right there, he knew that shit. He, he a right little nigga, you know what I'm saying? He's a right little nigga. Ah, shit, pop shit. Clean, I ain't want it. Before you go, I need to look, uh -huh. I need to look straight out there. You see Funky and it, right? I don't know where he at. Okay, Sunday in January will be our 17 year anniversary. Welcome home and last day. Just say who you are. Shout out to Progress Support. Hey, man. Hot shit, pop shit, fine going business. Rollo, fine going. Shout out to the motherfucking Progress Report. Good shit. Thank you, guys. The Progress Report.